Can you imagine nights that last 24 hours and weeks without seeing the sun? That is real life in some part of northern Norway. Many people live in the northern think that this is the prettiest time of the year with magical lights and fantastic skyscapes. While for some people this time can be very depressing. Friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show the life of Tromso during dark period. Now it's almost half past 9. I'm going to take a bus to go to the city center. So friends, you will be able to see how people do their daily life activities in dark period. I will take the bus number 42 which is coming within 6 minutes. The polar night often known as the dark season occurs when the sun remains below the horizon for more than 24 hours. Both the North Pole and the South Pole experience extreme daylight hours and darkness as part of their annual cycle because of the Earth's rotation and tilted axis in relation to the sun. The length and intensity of the polar night are determined by how far north you are from the arctic circle. The longer and darker it will be, the closer you get to the north pole. Friends, now I am 350 kilometers above the arctic circle at 69 degrees north in Troms. Friends, over here you can get the experience of polar nights with the months of darkness. But in further north, these months are complete pitch dark. For instance, on the North Cape, the sun remains under the horizon for more than two months. While in Trons, the phenomenon is different. Over here, the sun remains under horizon for just two months. In Lofoten or Bodo, the dark period is very short. Friends, I have reached to the city center. So friends, I am going to roam around the city center to give you some idea about the life in dark period. The people of Northern Norway have lived with the dark months for the past 10,000 years or so. They go to work and to school as usual, and the range of leisure activities available in the evening is broad and varied. Cafes, restaurants and night sports fill up night after night with talkative, good-humored people, and many entertaining festivals are held during this period. And it is great time for cultural events, festivals, good food, Christmas shopping and outdoor activities.
This is Tromso Cathedral. There is a souvenir shop in the opposite of Tromso Cathedral. Probably this yellow wooden cathedral is the northernmost Protestant cathedral in the world. This church is located in the middle of the park Kirke Parken, which was a graveyard in the Middle Ages up until the first half of the 19th century. This is a shopping center of Tromso. Friends, let's go inside. It's around 11 a.m. If the sky is clear, you will be able to see toilet light around 11 a.m. This is a second hand shop come restaurant which is located just in front of Redison Blue Hotel.
you will experience several hours of beautiful arctic blue light which is also called the blue hour a tranquil and soft light that keeps you on the shutter of your camera This period is stunningly beautiful when the days are clear and cold. These scenes attract so many people from all over the world to travel to northern Norway during the dark season. Come in gang till inatta. Onatta for the Friends, this is Erling Bangsun Square or the main square where the Cathedral of Our Lady is located. The Cathedral of Our Lady, also Church of Our Lady, is the northernmost Catholic cathedral in the world. There is a cinema and a public library on the opposite side of this church. Now I am in front of the public library of Tromsø. Let's have a look inside this public library. The twilight light is disappearing. It's time to go back home. Polar night season or dark period begins on November 27th and lasts until January 15th. However, due to the high mountain ranges around the city, it actually gets dark beginning November 21st until about January 21st. During this time, the sun doesn't rise at all. There is a subtle toilet light from about 10 am to 1 pm, but otherwise the city is dark. While this may sound a bit dull, Tromso locals actually report lower levels of wintertime depression than expected which may be related to a more positive wintertime mindset. It doesn't get as cold in Norway's Arctic as it does in neighboring Finland. This is due to the warmer breeze coming off of the Atlantic. However, you will still want to come prepared with plenty of warm layers if you are visiting Tromsø in the winter. Tourists should bring a thermal base layer, a comfortable mid layer and a warm water resistant shell. You will also want to have a number of cold weather accessories to choose from including a hat, mittens, scarf, warm, waterproof footwear and socks.
Norwegians make the most of the polar night by decorating their homes with candles, fairy lights and stars. They create a cozy feeling across the city. Children continue to play outdoors with hair torches or reflective vest and life continues as normal for locals. Even though the sun remains below the horizon, northern Norway is not blacked out completely. On clear days, you'll be able to see beautiful sunset colors in the south while the sky to the north is a deep midnight blue. However, it is fully dark even at midday for several weeks around Christmas on Salford. It's around 1 pm. Twilight is going to be disappeared very soon. Soon it will be completely dark. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in my next video. Till then, stay tuned with my channel. Bye.